I'm glad that God keeps us safe. Hey, boys and girls, it's time to celebrate our birthdays this week. Look at the screen, see if you see your name. If you're having a birthday this week, it should be there. And hey, if it's not there, we still wish you a very happy birthday from GFBC Kids. David was a small boy who was very brave. David loved God. David's people were in a great battle. The bad guys had a giant on their side, Goliath. Goliath was so tall, but David was very brave. David knew that God would keep him safe. David took a rock and then he threw the rock at the giant Goliath and he knocked down Goliath. David saved his people from the terrible giant and God kept David safe. God keeps you safe too. Oh, I'm Goliath. I'm glad that God keeps us safe. Hey, boys and girls, it's time to sing our song again about David and Goliath. Come on and sing it with me. Goliath stood so tall, David was so small. Clap your hands and turn around, God is with us all. David's heart was big. Goliath's heart was small. Clap your hands and turn around. God is with us all. Let's try it one more time. Goliath stood so tall. David was so small. Clap your hands and turn around. God is with us all. David's heart was big. Goliath's heart was small. Clap your hands and turn around. God is with us all. We're going to hear an exciting Bible story today and we'll learn that God is with us. This is David. Let's tell David hello. Hello, David. David loved God and God loved David too. David had seven brothers, but he was the youngest and the smallest. And even though David was small, he had a big job. Oh my goodness, what is that sound? What could that be? What animal makes that sound? Aha, uh -huh, a sheep, and there it is. David watched the sheep in his father's field. Whoosh, and you can see how soft that sheep's wool is. Well, David loved his father, and he loved the sheep, but most of all, David loved God. He loved God more than anything, but there was someone who didn't love God. Ooh, let's see who that mean man was. Oh, look at that giant. His name is Goliath. Can you say that? Goliath. Whew. Goliath was a big, mean guy who didn't love God. Wow. Well, he was a real mean guy. He didn't love God. Goliath's people and God's people were at war. Every day, Goliath stomped back and forth and shook his sword and yelled mean things about God's people. That made David angry. All of God's soldiers were afraid of Goliath, but David wasn't afraid. David knew that God is with us, and he knew that God would help him fight Goliath. Do you think David won the fight? Let's find out. David knew that Goliath was big. But David knew that God is bigger than anything or anyone. And David knew that God is with us. So let's clap for God. Hooray, God! So David went to a stream and he picked up those five stones. And he took a stone and he put it in his sling. And David walked up to Goliath. And David said, Goliath, you think you're big and strong with that shiny sword. But God is bigger than you or anyone else. God is with us and he will win the fight. So then David threw the stone and hit Goliath. Boom, hit him in the head and Goliath fell face down on the ground. Oh, David won the battle because God is with us. Even though David was small, David's love for God was big and David knew 
that God is with us. It's time for Parent Corner. <laughs> Today's activity is called Day and Night. Now, if you have a large box that you can open up both ends and make like a tunnel, this would be very good. But if you don't, don't worry. You can just get a blanket and cover it over a couple of chairs in your kitchen or in your dining room. And then let your children crawl inside and crawl outside and crawl inside and crawl outside. And when they go inside, they'll notice that it's dark, just like at nighttime. And when they come out, they'll notice that it's light, like the daytime. So just remind the children that God is with us all the time, day and night. Isn't it great that God is with us? David learned that God is with us all the time and he never leaves us alone. Even though God's people were afraid of Goliath, David wasn't afraid because he knew that God helps us. He knew that God is with us. Let's do our motions for our main point, God is with us. Ready? God is with us. Let's do it one more time. God is with us. Great job. Hey, boys and girls. We're down on the farm today because do you know what happens on a farm with a farmer? The farmer spreads his seeds everywhere on the farm and he waits and he waters and the sun comes out and it shines on them and then something grows up and comes out of the ground and becomes corn or maybe peas or something like that. Well, did you know that you can spread God's word everywhere just like seeds? You can spread it everywhere to everybody you know. And so let's sing our song about spreading the good news everywhere, okay? Spread the good news everywhere. God loves everyone. Take the good news here and there. God loves everyone. Step, pop, pop, tell three friends. God's love never, never ends. Spread the good news everywhere. God loves everyone. Today, we are learning that we can help others learn about God through our kind actions. Well, I'd like to know what is a kind action? What does it mean? Hmm. Well, I have a few kindness cards right in my basket that may just help us out. <laughs> I pick my first card says, share a smile. Well, I can do that. I'm going to share a smile with you. Who will you share a smile with? Hmm. You could smile one right back at me right now. Oh, I just gave you another one. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what the next card is. I'll put that over there. <laughs> this card, it says, say God loves you. Hmm, I can do that. Um, God loves you. You say it. Did that feel good? Because it's pretty awesome. Um, I have an idea that these kindness cards are great to help us practice being kind to one another. So, how does it make you feel to be kind? Did you ever think about that? How does it make you feel when you're kind to somebody else? That's my favorite. Okay, so kindness makes everybody feel good. God is pleased when we're kind to each other. So, let's see how that happened in our Bible story. Whiskers, where are you? Yoo-hoo, Whiskers! Help, help, you've got to hide me! Uh, well, my goodness, Whiskers, what's going on? Why do you have to hide? I'm hiding from my mom. Quick, where can I go before she gets here? Whiskers, we can't hide you from your mother. Why are you running away from her? Well, she wants to give me a bath. She says I'm too dirty. Well, you do look like you've had a full day. You have dirt in your ears, your paws are all muddy, and your nose is all smudged. 
What did you do to get so messy? Well, Cousin Joey and I, we've been playing all day. First, we crawled around in the backyard and we were pretending to be caterpillars, but then it rained a little, so we splashed in the puddles and made mud pies. I think you do need to wash whiskers. Looking at you reminds me of our Bible story today. A man had to take a bath and he wasn't too happy about it at first. Would you like to hear what happened? A Bible story about taking a bath? Yeah, tell me about it. Hello, my name is Rachel. I am a servant girl, and I want to tell you about the wonderful thing that happened to my master, Naaman. Naaman is a brave and powerful commander in the army. He won a big battle for his king, but Naaman has a terrible skin disease. His skin was so rough and it hurt. I felt sorry for my master and I wanted him to get better. I remembered that there was a prophet in the country where I came from who had the power to heal people. So I told my mistress about Elisha, the prophet, and she told Naaman. The king gave Naaman permission to visit Elisha. So Naaman and some other servants packed up his things and set off on a long trip. When Naaman and his servants got to Elisha's house, Elisha's servant came out. The servant gave Naaman a message from Elisha, go and wash seven times in the Jordan River. Naaman didn't want to wash in that river. He thought it was too dirty. He got angry and stomped away from Elisha's house. But then some of Naaman's servants said, why don't you do what Elisha says? We've come a long way to see him. Maybe if you wash in this river, you'll get better. Did you see what happened? Naaman washed in the river one, two, three, four, five, six times. Then when Naaman came out of the river the seventh time, his skin was smooth and clean. The disease and all the sores were gone. When Naaman saw his smooth, clean skin, he knew that God had healed him. He told Elisha that from now on, he'd worship the one true God. When Naaman returned from his journey, my mistress ran out to meet him. We were so happy to see that he was healed. I'm glad I told my mistress about Elisha. Elisha's kind actions helped Naaman learn about God. See, Whiskers, because the servant girl Elisha and the other servants were kind to Naaman, he learned to believe in God and he was healed from his sickness. We've been learning that we can help others learn about God with our kind actions too. Hey, that's a great idea. Maybe next time I go over to play at Cousin Joey's house, I can help him learn about God. Can you, can you help me think of some kind actions to do for him? Sure, maybe you can give him a smile <gasps> or a hug. Oh, those are great ideas. I'm going to go over there right now. Oh, no, you don't. Before you go back to Cousin Joey's, you need to take a bath. Okay, I guess I'll go find my mom and get ready for my bath, but I'm sure glad that I'm not naming. Well, why is that, Whiskers? Well, I have the neatest submarine to play with in the bathtub, and I don't think Naaman had any toys at all. I'm going to hurry home and take my bath so I can go back to Cousin Joey's. Bye, everyone. Hey, Mom, here I come. Hey, boys and girls, our main point today is we can help others learn about God with our kind actions. Sharing is one kind of action that we can do every day. What can we share? We can share smiles or hugs and love. What else can you share? Toys, maybe your lunch. Yeah, those are good things to share. You can even share Jesus because that's the best thing to share. Let's pray. God, we thank you that you show us how to be kind to others. Father, thank you for your love for us and help us to show your love and kindness to others. We love you, Jesus. Amen.